guess I better go ahead and talk about this because a lot of people are talking about this situation. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this. Nintendo criticized for blocking custom Etika Joy-Cons, which raised it 10000 for charity. Now, here, here was the issue that a lot of people need to understand. What happened was uh, Nintendo... took down a cease and desist letter against a person named uh, Al Captain Alex. And I, and I know that Omni happens to be a YouTube content creator, and he actually uh, talked about this. And what happened was, l let's put it this way. Content creator Al uh, Captain Alex has created Eticon controller shells in August 2019 in honor of the popular Nintendo community figure Desmond Etika. Esmofa, who tragically took his life, uh, his own life earlier th that year. For those who don't know, Etika happens to be this person. And a lot of people used to remember him as a content creator. But um, for those who don't know, I, I kind of do feel bad for what happened to him. A lot of people talked about him uh, back in, in June. Back in June, he committed suicide. And they did find his body. And it, they... And it was sad too. In 2019, it was that that suicide that happened. It was a very dark time uh, in 2019 for Etika because he was was having a mental breakdowns, and uh, people were. He was under the pressure, and I can understand financially and everything. He was he was under the pressure. And a lot of people understood what happened to him, and it was sad that he kill, took his own life. And a lot of people talked about this a lot, um, especially me, and I felt bad. But what happened was they they kind of said all proceeds from the controller shells were reportedly donated to the GED Foundation, a mental health and suicide prevention charity, according to Alex. Eticons had generated over $10,000. Uh, dollars for, for charity by the end of 2019. However, Sunday, Alex confirmed that Joy-Cons, a YouTube uh, channel created in memory of Etika, that the Nintendo had sent him a cease and desist letter that at the end of September demanding that he stop selling the Eticons, which were just Joy-Con controllers. Shortly after, the Joy-Con boys posted a video on the topic that Nintendo hates us. Nintendo even reportedly ordered a copyright strike against the channel. Now you can see right here, this is Omni who is a content creator. Again, he said, can anyone confirm above that actually is true? I hate to see the trend where people are false claiming Nintendo's uh, cease and desist, especially it involves using Etika name. The first campaign was not successful. The second campaign was successful. Remaining stock of Joy-Cons were for sale on Ecstasy since last year. Nintendo sent me a cease and desist letter at the end of September. Here's the picture of me in the bin in the shells. I can't sell anymore. Now, you can see right here that, that he showed uh, the, the cease and desist thing. You're, you are non-noticed in the product and marketing sales of a fridging product. Nintendo uses Nintendo trademark, which was, was the issue. What happened was uh, Nintendo basically got upset with uh, Captain Alex uh, over the fact that the Nintendo uh, licensing, you know, their Nintendo and Mark was on there, and that's what the issue was. And a lot of people were kind of upset about this uh, issue. And you can see right here, Nintendo really is salty about Eticon's video, huh? Hi, Joy-Con boys, copyright owner using... Uh, content ID has claimed from material in this YouTube. As a result, your video has been blocked in some countries. This means you, that your video is still up in on YouTube, but people, some people in some countries may not be able to watch it. This is the this is not a copyright strike. This is claims that does not affect your account status. And this is what the Joy Cons are upset about. This is what they're upset about. The news attracted a significant amount of criticism on Twitter where both Nintendo and Etika were on the top trending topics on Monday. Over 1,050,000 tweets were, uh, were made about this issue. Mental health is so important. Really hope Nintendo reconsiders. One uh, user wrote, another user said, It's just baffling that Nintendo would turn a blind eye to many custom shell designers for Joy-Con and other co and other controllers and will 
but will cease and desist the ones that are raising money for charity under Etika's name. For those who don't know, Etika happens to be a big Nintendo fan, and it's sad that Nintendo's treating this situation in bad faith, but I understood why they said this. Um, according to Alex, he basically pointed out, responding to the fans on Twitter, Alex confirmed that these cease and desist was related to his use of the Nintendo Switch logo on the Joy-Con f- on the Joy Cons, which basically uh, Nintendo had an issue with uh, the idea of having their Nintendo logo or the Nintendo name name brand on the Nintendo Switch uh, things. So he had to remove them because of the fact. But it's sad that this happened because of the fact that Nintendo did uh, kind of said this. Nintendo didn't shut down my business completely. They just had to me remove some designs that I and I modified most of them. He wrote the controller modifications isn't an issue using the copyright is which is the Nintendo logo itself which a lot of people were kind of upset about and thus it kind of looked bad on Nintendo now he he said around 300 controller shells had initially been sold via crowdfunding platform in Indiegogo before Alex is putting the remaining 200 for sale on via marketplace ecstasy now fans were kind of upset about this because this was to raise money for Etika's suicide organization plan. And the fact that this happened, this is not the first time it happened. Now, a lot of people were kind of upset about the latest fan action following heavy criticism of the cancellation of the Big House, the longest running major Nintendo Smash Bros. tournament in the U.S. After receiving a cease and desist, Nintendo America last month, Nintendo reportedly targeted a tournament due to the use of the illegal copied version of Super Smash Bros. Melee, which is a Nintendo GameCube uh, game, and they had an issue with people using Slippy Online, which is like a rollback net code allowing players to play against each other online. Because due to the COVID situation, they had to use that code. And the problem is Nintendo didn't like the idea of them using um, illegal software, you might say, to play this game online on a Nintendo GameCube. It can easily, and, and some of them don't like the idea of using Nintendo Dolphin or Nintendo emulators to play this game online. That was the issue that they had with this, and it's understandable, but at the same time, a lot of people want to play this tournament and want to play competitively, but they don't see the Nintendo doesn't see that. They see it as, oh, why are they playing this old game? Why are they making this up? Why are they trying to to uh, do this stupid tournament? That's what they. That's what people are looking at you guys as Nintendo. You have to understand. You guys are really going off the deep end getting upset over the fact that someone made a charity to basically you know i can understand the issue of stopping a charity because you don't want your brand to be represented in that charity because it looks bad on you but it doesn't look bad when someone's making a charity but when you try to stop that charity you should have just reasonably said hey can you do this don't don't put your put our Nintendo logo on there, please. We don't want to be involved in this. And that kind of looks bad on you because a lot of people, uh, you have to understand, this guy was a big fan. Etika was really a big fan of Nintendo. He played your games. He actually enjoyed your system. It's a shame that people like that, People like in Nintendo had to do this because I can understand you want to defend your the honor of your IP, but when it comes down to it, when you're going after a comp, uh, someone making something for charity, maybe you should rethink about what actions you should be taking. But I I understand that you wanted to defend the honor of your IP being used, but in a way you kind of made yourselves look at it looking at it in a negative way and it makes you look negative and it makes you look bad among the community who of fans who basically like your products and it's the same that you guys have to go after people like this who honestly wanted to raise money for charity it's sad i can understand that issue with the licensing issue you could have explained to him and emailed him or he could have went 
to you guys and talk to you guys. You could have talked to him like, hey, um, don't you could have paid attention to the situation, but you didn't. You waited until the last moment to to basically uh, attack him over this and try to do this whole cease and desist. Now, I personally don't want to be mean to Nintendo and I don't want to be mean to anybody here. I understand both sides of the argument, but this looks bad on Nintendo because they basically canceled a a charity which is to prevent suicide and su and have suicide awareness. And the problem is is that Nintendo needs to move needs to realize what they're doing is wrong. And I understand that you guys want to defend your IP. But please, just try to tell him, like, hey, can you not do that? Don't. You're basically doing the meme. Don't do that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, leave your thoughts down below and tell me what you guys think of this. Because this is a sad story and a sad situation for Nintendo. So you guys take care. You have fun. Bye-bye.